Trust you're having a great start to your Friday. It's the final day here of 2018. Dave, we've had a lot of fun along the way here this morning. And we've had some company here this last hour in studio as well. We certainly have. We've got uh, family joining us here, finding out a little bit what it's like to be in Christian radio. By the way, if you'd like to have a tour of the station at some point, come visit us here on the morning show. Don and I would love to have you just uh, give us a call here at the station. Well, the uh, young guys, they're from the Bloomsburg area. We have Luke and Pierce here this morning. Luke, good morning. How you doing today? Good morning. I'm doing good. Thanks for having us. Well, it's good to have you joining us this morning. And I understand you have some interest in radio broadcasting. Is that right? Uh, yes, um, I'm very interested in sports, obviously, as many other kids are, but um, I'm interested in pursuing a career in whether it be journalism for sports or maybe even news, um, broadcasting, being on air or off air. Um, something like that would be cool. Very cool. Well, all experience in a lot of different kind of professions, it's a good thing. So even coming and looking at a radio station, but I know you do some fun things to practice as well. And when you're not practicing uh, journalism and, and uh, broadcasting and stuff like that, you're cheering for the Steelers on Sunday, aren't you? Uh, yeah, um, the Steelers, um, they, they have lots of talent, but kind of disappointing this season. Um, they might miss out in the playoffs, need the Browns to beat the Ravens, but... Well, I, I have to tell you, we're not quite on the same page with this, but you know that because I'm from Baltimore, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's still all good? It's still I all guess, good. Yeah. He yeah. guesses so. All you right, know, well, that's good. Uh, in, in your sports knowledge, uh, how, how would you break down the Ravens? Would you consider them a good team? <laughs> yeah, they're they're a good team. Um, in the playoffs, you need to have a really good run game and a really good defense, and I think they have both things. He wow. knows his sports. <laughs> he absolutely does. Well said, Luke. I appreciate that. So hopefully they come away a winner. <laughs> well, let's bring in your brother here for a second. Pierce is here as well. And uh, Pierce, how old are you? Um, I'm nine, uh, ten years old. Okay. Now you and your brother obviously probably talk a lot of sports together. That's some of the things you guys like to do as brothers. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. What's uh, what's one of your favorite things to do here during this? I'm assuming you're on a break from school. So what's been maybe one of your your fun or favorite things that you've got to do here uh, during your break? Um, maybe just like watching the games, uh, some of the non-good bowl games, but um, especially the Sundays, um, especially the one, I believe was the 16th, the Steelers against okay. the Patriots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you're going to be cheering for Penn State when they play in their bowl game coming up? Um, yes. You think I they're going to win it? Yes, I should. I okay. Should. All right. Well, he, Penn State fans, uh, these guys know their sports, and so I think Pierce is predicting a Penn State victory, so that bodes pretty well for the uh, Nittany Lions. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Kentucky. Well, you, I, it does not shock me at all. Well, guys, thanks for uh, spending some time in the studio with us this morning. That was uh, Luke and Pierce. Uh, they're from the Bloomsburg area. Their parents here as well, and uh, nice to uh, have their company this morning in studio. Well, we've got a lot of music coming up for you this Friday. Of course, later on this afternoon, the Top 30 Countdown, it gets underway at... Three o'clock, Bruce Matthews counting down those top 30 songs. Be sure to